He said he would deal with them a terrible blow. Dear child of God, is saying to them today that it will rain snares upon them. So believe God. Stand with your God. Who is saying to you, I would avenge for you. I would avenge your cause. Who is saying to you, I'll fight your battles. I would make sure you are delivered. Who is saying to you, I'll bring you out. Yes, you may have been going through some troubled waters. But he's saying to you, I will bring you out. And I will cause you to enjoy your life. I will cause you to enjoy your blessings on the face of the earth. I will cause you to enjoy honor. I will cause you to enjoy favor. And every one of them shall be put to shame. Yes, they have stretched out their hands against you. But what they are doing today, God will bring to an end in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything around them will begin to fight against them. Dear child of God, because God will make sure nothing is working for them anymore. He said that their hands will not be able to carry out their enterprise. They will not be able to succeed with all the things that they have been planning and intending against your life. Things will be working opposite to what they have planned in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, as they are looking for you, they will discover you have gone higher and higher, that they will not be able to get close to you. Neither will they be able to succeed against your life anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. Because they hate you, this is the reason God will continually uplift you and take you farther and higher than them, that they will not be able to come close to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That time has come that every of their wickedness will come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Egyptians began to fight God's people. They fought the people of God, yes. They brought them to the place of damnation. The place of pain, the place of poverty, the place of sorrow, and God arose. He stretched forth his hands through Moses and made sure heaven opened up and brought blessings their way. And those enemies, he made sure that they were wiped off. They were all destroyed today. Upon the wicked, he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone. Psalms 11 verse 6. He says, and an horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of your cup, my God. He says, and an horrible, a very horrible tempest shall come upon them. And he says, this shall be the portion of their cup. He says, this shall be the portion of their cup. Dear child of God, he says, this shall be the portion of their cup. The word of God made on it says, he gave them hail for rain and flaming fire. In their land because they have ill-treated you because they have done evil against you you sin is going to rain snares it's going to bring punishment upon them in the mighty name of Jesus he said the things he will do unto them it will be very terrible it will be horrible he says a horrible tempest will come upon them and this will be their portion this will be the portion of what they deserve their child of God that time has come that they would eat of the fruit of their evil labors in the mighty name of Jesus. They have been sowing evil seed night and day, seeing that you were pained, seeing that you were sorrowing, dear child of God, seeing that you were afflicted. But today, God is arising for you and He's saying, I would rain snares, yes, I would rain snares upon them, brimstone and fire. Dear child of God, things will begin to go off for them the people that wanted you destroyed you have prayed for them you have upheld them you have been patient with them but they refused to stop they wouldn't stop their attacks against you kept on increasing the more you were doing everything to embrace them and to bring them in dear child of god they began to increase their wickedness against you that time has come for the lord to avenge for you and fight for you and make sure it comes to an end everything that they have been doing he says, every of those adversaries of yours, they have been proven guilty and the wrath of God will come upon them. It will come heavily upon them. You see the word of God in Ecclesiastes 8 verse 13 says, But it shall not be well with the wicked. This is not my word, but the word of God. He says, it shall not be well with them, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feared not before his God. He says it shall not be well with them because they refuse to stop. He says it will not prolong their days any further because they wanted you destroyed. They wanted to cut your life short. Dear child of God, their intention and satisfaction 
was to see that you are destroyed, was to see that you are pained, was to see that affliction and sorrow befalls you. But God is saying, no, that would not stand. God is saying, no, that will not continue. Rather, their days will not be prolonged anymore. He says they are like a shadow, which means they will vanish away. They will vanish away in no time because they refused to stop. Because they kept on fighting you night and day. Yes, they have brought evil to your tent. They had brought evil to your dwelling place, dear child of God. They brought fire to your doorsteps. You were wondering what you did to them. Suddenly you wake up and discover you have been attacked. Suddenly you wake up and discover you have been afflicted. You are going on your own. And you discover they are doing everything, yes, sending threats your way, sending people to bring you down today. God is saying, the portion of your wickedness, yes, what they deserve for their wickedness, for the level of evil that they had committed and done against you, that time has come for them to reap, for them to reap the evil harvest that they have sown. That time has come that everything they had intended against your life will come to an end. He says, I've given you a clear account of God in action. He says, I've given you a clear account of God in action. He said, I've given you a clear account of God in action. Job 27 verse 11. That account of God in action was to send wrath, was to send affliction, returning back to the enemies that have sent them. Dear child of God, it will return back to their head. Their violent dealings, dear child of God. Their violent dealings, their violent dealings, their child of God. It shall return back unto their own paid in the mighty name of Jesus. They'll be paid back in full for the things that they had intended against your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, what hope do people without God have? Yes, he said, it will cut their life short because they refuse to have hope in God. That was why they fight you night and day. That is why they are angry with you night and day. They refuse to have hope in God, knowing that they would also be blessed. That is why they are picking on you. You are doing all the things necessary to be done. And they are upset because you are doing it. Yes, the people around you are singing your praises. And so they are upset because they want to be the one to have their praises sung about. But you see, they have not done the needful. They have not done what is necessary. If they do what is necessary, they would also get the same blessings that you get. They have been lazy, but the progress you are making is hunting them, is fighting them. And somehow they began to fight you because they felt insecure. But today God is going to fight for you and is going to bring to an end. He said they will not prolong their days any further. But dear child of God, if they come to self-realization, knowing that if they begin to invest also doing all the things that they need to do, they would also get the blessings that you are getting. Dear child of God, when they come to that realization, then God will show them mercy. But if they refuse and keep fighting you, he said he will give them hell for rain. He said the flaming fire, the flaming sword of God will strike them down. Blessings they said you will not get. The things they were doing, everything to deny you from receiving, you will get them. And every one of them will be put to shame. God will make sure his wrath will be heavy upon them. And none of them will be able to escape except they repent today there is always room for repentance there is always room for them to turn back to god so that the wrath of god will not come upon them but if they refuse if they refuse to stop if they continually become violent against you then god will be forced to respond and rain down snares as he said and fire upon them that they will not be able to recover from in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will know that you serve a living God. They will know that you serve the God that fights the battles of his children. They will know that you serve the God that had promised to be there for you, to sustain you, and to preserve you. That God said you will not die. That God said you will live. The God of heaven said you will fulfill your days on the face of the earth. And so it shall be. You will fulfill your days. You will accomplish all the things that you need to accomplish will accomplish your purpose on the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. You'll be an achiever of great things in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, you are indeed more than a conqueror and God will establish it everywhere you go. It will be said that you are the winner 
the one that God has chosen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I call it on because it is settled and it is time for you to testify of the goodness of God in the land of the living in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.